Hey everybody, I thought it was about time I told you my full history of riding. Um, I always wanted to have my own horse. So I told my mom, I want a horse, I want a horse, I want a horse. But doesn't every girl ask for a pony? Oh, I really wanted one. Uh, it wasn't a phase. Um, finally, Christmas of, o of, I don't remember. Um, I was told I'd get horseback riding lessons. I thought I was getting a horse. <laughs> um, that was the best Christmas I could ever ask for. Really. Um, so I took lessons for about three years at this amazing place. I just loved it. Called Equistar. Uh, with my best friend Alicia. Then, um, about the end of 07, something happened. Um, I didn't feel good. I had a, we went to a doctor and they said I had a virus. Um, I was sick and I was really tired all the time. And then, I had a seizure on my mom's bed, and I went to the hospital. I was there for nine days. I had 17 seizures in a row, as my dad counted. I don't remember the first half of that time. Um, see, the disease that I ended up getting was Lyme disease. That can caused by a tick. But and we don't know when I got it, ever. So, that was hard. It's hard to fit in. I had one of the cone vegetables that makes you gain a terrible amount of weight. I didn't fit in like anywhere. It was really sad. Um, so, it was hard to make friends again once I joined school. And Lyme disease is a bacterial infection. It goes through, it travels through your bloodstream, destroys organs. It really hurt my immune system. I was in and out of school too many times, and it was hard. And um, it's really hard. I mean, not a lot of people know what it's like to go through something like that. Um, it changed me a lot, though, uh, as a person. I feel like I'm a better person because I know this, and I've been through this, and it made me discover God, it, uh, make me want a real connection with Him, so, I mean, that's always something you need. <laughs> and, well, I... What I hated about it is it's being so tired. I didn't go to school for a while, a long time, and I lost friends. Um, I'm losing my friend Alicia right now because this semester I'm homeschooled because I couldn't take my school. And and it's just so hard. I mean. It's, I mean, some of you think you don't know what it's like because their horse passed away. Or they're losing the horse that they leased because he was for sale and somebody else bought him. They say, don't say, they post on YouTube, don't say you know how they feel. Okay, because they don't. And I know that. But nobody knows how it is to not be able to ride. Because you have something inside of you that you can't get out ever, and it's hard, and I hate it, and I can't take it anymore, and that was my attitude forever, now that I'm leasing, I'm not having a good day, unless I'm gonna go ride, I mean, today, I almost started crying, and it's my dog's birthday, it's my dog's 10th birthday, I wasn't crying because she will die in a couple years, which she will. I wasn't crying because I don't know. It's just so hard. 
There's only a couple people I know on YouTube who could feel the way I feel. So don't comment you know what it's like not to ride forever. Because you don't. Um, since then. For like two years I haven't been riding but I wanted to. But I was afraid of what my parents would say. I couldn't ride because after I got out because I could I had there's still chance that I could have seizures. I mean I still had to sleep with my parents. And but my trainer said that I could still come and you know take care of horses, give them baths, just go see them. I never really got back into it. I was sad and I was scared that I'd lose my passion for it. I tried getting another passion, dolphins, that kind of stuff at the beach, marine biology, didn't last, so finally one day, I, um, I asked my friend Alicia if she ever thought about horseback riding again, and she said, like, hell yeah, so I begged my mom, I was afraid to ask her, I was afraid of what she said, I asked my dad. He did most of the jobs of convincing me. And I finally started again. His guidelines. I had to always wear bug spray even in the winter. And ride western because that's all I did, basically. And it was a while. And I was so happy. I was taking lessons with this other girl. And Alicia started it again, and it was awesome. Uh, I finally bought my myself boots with Christmas money, and when I wasn't riding, I was cleaning them 24/7. <laughs> finally, that stopped. Uh, it's just I wanted to do something with horses when I wasn't taking lessons, because I was so bored all the time. Um, and then finally I asked for my birthday to lease a horse and in the summer of June I got to lease for a month with my friend Alicia it was a pony foxy if you guys have seen my old videos you've seen her the black pony um it was fun but she was a great English horse that's what people told me and um I don't know, so then I had to stop. I wanted to do it again. My, my dad's birthday was in July. He said he wanted me to do that again for his birthday. But I never got to. Um, you know, I've been riding for a long time now. It's been over a year now since I started. And I started writing English and I, I fell in love with it. I actually promised myself I'd never write English. But <laughs> that never worked out. And I just fell in love with English writing, and now I'm back, and I'm so happy. This Christmas, many of you don't know, I was promised a horse, a continuous lease until I got my own horse. And I found out the other day that Cougar was for sale for a thousand dollars, and nobody wanted him, and that's why his owner bought him, Odette. I wish they would have told me, but I wasn't leasing him at the time. Um, I feel like I've learned more riding than ever since I started again, which is a really great thing. Um, I've heard in English and that taught me a lot. And well, It's been a little over a year. Put together without the break. I want to forget about this whole stop we say because I had other things to pursue or I was busy doing other things. <laughs> what was I doing? I was sitting at home. Don't call CPS, okay? <laughs> and well, That's kind of my story. 
I hope you guys are all having a better time than I am right now. Um, some videos of me happy, some videos of me sad, some videos of me in between. But keep in mind, they're all of me sick. Keep, like you don't even recognize me in some of them, but they are me. I'm sick in them all. But I'm covering it with a mask. So keep that in mind. Right? Make it seem, but you can't tie me down like a parachute strings. Yeah, you keep so what? 